We are back with College Football 25, and today we are officially, officially beginning our dynasty career as a head coach of the Ball State Cardinals. Yes, so Mr. King Jr., that's me. We're going to be coaching. We're going to be rebuilding this program and make it a dominated team. It's going to take, it's going to take a while, man. It's going to be a process. But I believe in our ability, man. So let me get through the setup, and I'll be right back with you guys in a few moments. All right, man. So we are back right here. We got Mr. King Jr. officially beginning his head coaching career. We got this. Our weekly to-do list. We got to set up our recruiting board and scout some prospects. We also got a custom schedule. See, I'm not so into the whole customizing the schedule. So we're going to do. We're going to regenerate the schedule three times and see how, see where it lands on, and hopefully it's good for us, man. So that's one right there. That's two, and there's three. So UNLV is our first team that we're going to be going up against. FCS is East, our second team. And Mississippi State is our third. Okay. That's going to be something. Yeah, it's going to be something, man. So with that being said, let's save this real quick. That's going to be our schedule. We'll look at it in a little bit more. I think I can look at it now. No, I can't. And um, set up our recruiting board and scout prospect. Oh, man, that's a lot. We got 450 hours to use. We got 35 scholarships to give out. And we got target 35. So let me look through this real quick. I got to go look at that depth chart real quick, man. All right, we're looking at our depth chart. Okay, we got a quarterback in Samoza. He's a freshman. We also got Kelly. He sends me. Look through this all really quick. Our running back. Ah, damn. Look through this all real quick, man. Looking at the... Receivers, all of them is all juniors, man. That's not good for the future wise. That is not good. Go so tight end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Left guard is good, but he's a senior. That's the issue. We've also got a junior meter. He's a he's up and coming. He's a but he's a junior again. Like by time. And Mas Masilio Lee's meter will be a senior. Center, uh, that that is not good. I got oh, we got Ty oh Tyo, he's a sophomore. So we got a good right guard to work with on the O line. That's good. That's good. I right, tackle not good. There's not a lot of positive things on the uh, on the roster right now, man. Not a lot of positive thing I'm looking at, which is not great. But again, we chose the job. You know, they need someone to come in to be a leader and help me build this program, and I believe we could do it. Like I said, it's going to take some time, but still. We, we got all the time in the world, man. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> EB. No freshmen here. Evers. He's a freshman. Not bad. Look, uh, he got some decent speed on him. Nice linebacker is not looking good. Cornerback, junior, sophomore, junior, freshman. Oi. Oi, this is not, <laughs> this is Oi. Udo, this is a senior. Ground safety. Yeah, this this is this is scary to look at right now. The thing is, we got a positive though. We we really do have a positive, and that's um we gotta set this up later. We got we got a we got the whole depth chart, how we're going to do it. But we, we got a positive. We got a freshman, Simonza. We got Cali. He's a junior. The thing is, do we want to start Cali over Simonza? To get Simonza, Simonza some time to develop a little bit? That is the question right now that we have to ask ourselves. All right. So now that we have a good look at the depth chart, we know who to look for. And that's almost everybody. So we're going to we're going to get to the recruiting part, and I'll get right back to you guys when I finish this part. So yeah, give me a moment. All right. So I I did my thing, and you know, it didn't it didn't took me long. It didn't took me too long. But um, I only offer five scholarships to five different um players. Devontae Ara Aroa. I think that ah oh, damn it, I backed out. My bad. I backed out. Um, yeah, because Devontae has his as number one option so far. 
with the scholarship will help us influence him a little better. Otis, he got that diamond. That was I forgot what it means. My bad. But he got the diamond. I offer him a scholarship, and we're his number one school option so far, barely. But it's right there. It's right there. Then we got also um, Scotty Harper, right tackle. Yeah, oh yeah, Otis wide receiver and Devontae's a deep. But um, Harper, right tackle. That mean that mean he also got a diamond. We offer him a scholarship. We're his number one option so far. Barely. Also, we're in a competition with Kent State. And also, yeah. No, nah, Kent State. What the hell? Uh, that's not Kent State. I mean, um, that was called, man. But I know it's, I forgot the name of the school. But then we also got um, Mario Henry, who also got a diamond. We, also, we offer him a scholarship. We're his number one school. I mean, number two school right now. I think we're behind um Akon. We got Rhodes. We offer him a scholarship. We're number three on his preferred schools right now. We offer him a scholarship and hopefully that'll help influence a little better. And then the other players that we're going that we're scouting or planning to scout when, when we get more time is um rest of these right here. You want to look down, we got Talib, Devon Deontay uh, Talib. We're her number one option so far. All these is where a lot of these um, players has us as their number one number one option, and most of them is three three star recruit, which is good. You know, I want to go for a five star recruit, but none of them, you know, want to go to our school right now. Sadly, a lot of them were not even in the top five. So yeah, going down here. Yeah, we're looking at everybody, man. We're looking at every single position that we could possibly help us anything we really gotta work on our cornerback group though man so I think I'm gonna focus on these on Prude and Magna when the time when the time comes but yeah that's the that's the player that we are scouting so far see how it goes and we're gonna send to the next season next season next um, week see how, and see what's next on our agenda I right. week one Summary. Yeah. They're at risk of transferring. Oh, tight. No, not tight. Really? He's really likely to want to leave. Understandable, you know, because, again, the program is not really up there. He wants to better his career in the future. So I understand it. But damn, that sucks. Hopefully, we can change his mind. Recruiting update, though, man. Um, Otis. Our influence went a little higher, but it's good. We're still his number one option, which is nice. All this, he which he has reached his top eight school, and we are number four. Wilbur has reached his top eight school, and we're number four. Dandy has reached his top eight school, and we're number six. Harry has reached his top eight school, and we're number four. Which is good, good for us, you know. Give us some time here. Hopefully, give us a chance to persuade him to come to us, man. Got um, we got any more time? We got time. All right, let me go do my. Let me go do more um scouting, and I'll be right back to you guys in a moment to update you guys. All right, man. So okay, so her little update, man. Little update. So we offer two more scholarships to Newcomb and Magna. They have um, they're a little they they got hidden gems, man, which means it might be better than what they are rated at. It's nice to know. The Newcomb and Magnus is two players that we offer scholarship. That's eight of our thirty-five scholarship we can hand out. We also um for Otis Otis, we send a source media. We also DM DM him for Harper. We Message his friends and family, contacted them. Same thing with Henry, we contacted his friends and family. Magna, we contacted his friends and family. The thing is, I don't know how much that's going to help us, but hopefully it helps us enough. Because we do need a corners, man. We need corners. And then, Newcomb, we send the house. We send the house. Trying to help us a little more. If that could help us a little more, then we'd be perfect. But um, we'll see how it goes, because, again... 
those teams above us also offer him a scholarship. So we'll see how it goes. Then, yeah, nothing else happened. Everything else is still the same. We are still number one in the Devontae's um, influence, like number one school. Heads were his number four, number three still. We went down, which sucks. Same thing with Obi. We went down with him. Yeah. Everything else is looking positive a little bit. We went down with Harper. We did. Oh, yeah, we did. I think we think were in his number one option until this week. Damn. Oh, well, man. It's all good. It's all good. It's all, it is what it is, you know? Can't get them all. It will be nice if you get them all. Now, during this week, I'm going to go see what I got to do with this death chart, and I'll be right back with you guys in a moment to update you guys on that one, too. So, again, a lot of work, man. A lot of work. All right. We finally finished the death chart. It took me a while, man. It keeps resetting it on his own. I don't know why, but Kelly will be our starting quarterback. Start off the season. Moza will be his backup. For running back, we got Spago as a running back number one. We got Davis backing him up. All right? Did I had it right? Yeah. Davis backing him up. I think uh, we're kind of going down. Receiver, Magwood, Robinson, and Preston will be our top three receivers. Tight end, Kazell will be the starting tight end. Burrell will be the starting, I mean, backup tight end. Then the tackle has an issue right there. We got Love and starting the tackle, which is gonna suck, dude. Hopefully, hopefully, prove me wrong, though. You know, I challenge my players always to be better, man. Prove me wrong, prove me that wrong about you. But to start off the season, it doesn't look nice. Of course, Miss, I'm gonna say John. John will be our starting left guard. Starting center will be Crow. I'm thinking about starting meter at center. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. Then we got Tyro as a right guard starting. If he doesn't transfer, hopefully he doesn't transfer, man. But it will happen this season. That's all I know. It will happen this season. But if that's the case, we do have Meter. Even though he's a junior. The right tackle will be Dalton. Going down, left end will be Tosma. Right end will be Richard. Think about putting Burger at starting. We'll see. Defense tackle will be Hudges. Luther will be Luther. Luther will be um defense tackle number two. And right to linebacker, we got Rengold. Jackson Ragold. I'm not 100 percent sure if I pronounced his last name right. I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. Real linebacker, we got Newson and BBS are starting linebackers right there. We got right in, right as linebacker Stemler. Corners, our top three corners will be Baldwin, Harmon, and Norwood. I know I said that in the opposite way, but yeah. Free safety will be Odo. Strong safety will be Snyder. And then you guys can look at this other part if you guys want. Right there. Um, snapper, third, third down running back will be Spago. Power back will be Spago again. He's going to be on a heavy low, man. Presley will be our slot receiver. And then this is how I go on the rest left in and rest right in. That's how I'm doing it. Rest defense at tackle will be Hudges. The linebacker will be Newsom and BB, of course. There goes right there just in case. The slot cornerback will be Baldwin. And yeah, there we go. That's the death chart for us. Took a while to set that up, man, because keep resetting. Hopefully, then reset again. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think we got this one wrong, though. Davis. Davis right there. Okay, we got it right. All right, we're good right there. So, that chart is, is set. Uh, I, did, I did register a couple players. You know, the low overalls, honestly, not really a big players I'm hoping, but registered them just in case they do develop throughout the year if I go down. Go down, 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 down. Bremen, male linebacker, we registered him. He's a freshman. We registered his Sutton. Sutton? Uh, Antoine Sutton. The cornerback is a freshman. Rice. 
DJ Rice, a freshman. Jerry Temple, Jose Elliott. Wait, no, no. Never mind. Not, 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 not those two. <laughs> not those two. Uh, Keith Nall, Richardson, and Peyton. Yeah, so this is the one that we registered it for the year, which is fine. They will have to sit and develop. If they want to stay on the team for the coming year. I know we can't just straight out cut them, but um, if they want to play, they got to go somewhere else then. But who knows, man? Maybe the next year is their year. That's it for this week. Nothing else here to do. Let's take a look at our schedule once again. Um, we got you and Abby as our first opponent, of course, and then the rest of the team. That's the team, Western Michigan. <laughs> that's the one I was on top of. I thought it was Kent State, but no, it's Western Michigan instead. Yeah, that's our, that's our um schedule, man. We got a lot of afternoon games. No, no night games actually. We got two, three later in the year. We got Miami University, the night game. Buffalo's a night game, and Ohio Bobcats is a night game. So we got three night games. The rest is in the afternoon or morning. This is fine. I'm okay with it. And that's it. That's it for this week. Week zero. And then to next week, man. Week number one, I believe. Summary. Let's see who we got here. Harper. We're number one school. Ah, uh, yeah. Not done. Why do you? Hey, who does that shit? Uh, let's go over quick. Harper, where he's still his number one school. Thank God. Going back up. Right? I don't know. Mario Henry. Number one his number one school option. We went we went up right there. Number one. Newcomb, his number one school option. Nice dude. <laughs> they got. I wanna get him, man. I hope he commits to us. Ovi. And number four. Dillings. Number three. Columbus. Number four. I want to, to try to offer him a con offer him a scholarship. We'll see. Got Averson. No, no, no. There's no reason to offer him a scholarship because we, first we could get Harper. We got a good lead. First we could get him. But we could also get Columbus. We could play him at left tackle. Huh. Bars. This number third option. Raham is number third option. Hun, number fourth option. Oat, number third option. And does Dazun, I cannot pronounce his last name. Amani, <laughs> we got him as number second option. And John as his number eight option. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get him. He's a three star recruit, but I don't think I scouted him enough. But yeah, that's, that's uh, this week summary. Last week summary. Fine. All right. Well, UNLV versus Ball State home game. <sighs> It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, well, that's gonna be it for this one, man. This one was just mostly recruiting and who we're gonna go after in the recruiting stage, setting up our depth chart, getting ready for the season, and well, next video is gonna be our season opener. Let's see how it goes, man. And if it works, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna be playing some snapper, and we're gonna be we're gonna do a little half half. You know, we're gonna be playing some, and we're gonna be looking at the coach mode. Why? So half coach mode, half playing. See how I decide. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. And don't forget to like if you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to join me on building a legacy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Peace out.